how to change the instruments in CNC rotor machine so it wouldn't fly out in the most inconvenient moment, we will show. Welcome to Watson Technical. Here, Watson engineers share their knowledge to make it easier for you to work with CNC machines. Subscribe and join our community. Let's get started. Changing process. Step one, loosen the nut, but not the whole way, so the collet chuck with the instrument's wooden four on the working table. Then manually complete the unscrewing. The collet will end up being in your hand. Step two, either insert a new end bit with the appropriate diameter or replace the collet, and then insert the tool. To remove the collet, pull it sideways not upward, and after a characteristic click, you will be able to easily remove the current one and install a new one. Step 3. Tightly fixate the nut. Important details. Insert the tool into the collet at least two-thirds of the length of its shank. The tool needs to be securely and deeply fixed, otherwise, during the process, it may start to wobble or even break. Do not attempt to insert the tool into an unsuitable collet. For example, if your shank diameter is 8 mm and the collet is 10 mm, if you try to fill the remaining space with something, the tool will simply fall out during cooperation. If you try to fill the remaining space with something, the tool will simply fall out during operation at any random moment. Now, we will show the table with chucks and tools suited for them. Another important point. The longer the tool, the deeper it needs to be inserted into the collet, exceeding the tool third rule. You can insert it at almost the entire length of the shank. There is also a rule, the tools or hand should not be more than 8 times its diameter, with the rest of the shank securely fixated in the collet. However, keep in mind that thin and long tools exist, and this rule may not apply when working with them. The main thing is now to sink the cutting parts into the collet. All of this is necessary to avoid breakage caused by the beating. Be careful while replacing the tool. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and our engineers will help. Or contact us via email. Check out other videos on the topic in our playlist CNC Rotor Guide. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe so you won't miss more tutorials. This is Wasn't Technical. See you next time.